You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. everybody how y'all doing it is your girl your diva in knowledge lady mocha representing mocha's cafe day paris i'm always serving you wisdom knowledge and spiritual awareness big ups to everybody still appreciate y'all being so loyal to my channel still being loyal subscribers i appreciate all of my guys all of my ladies i thank y'all so much ladies in case you did not know i do have a separate channel specifically for women mocha's ladies lounge you are welcome to vacate over there if you feel more comfortable in a space in which there's only women and guys you're more than welcome to do your little drive-bys over there as well and shout me out show some love you know but i just did a separate channel in case women just want a space where they could congregate you know peacefully i get it unfortunately this gender war uh has a lot of people not feeling comfortable with being in spaces of the opposite sex so i want to accommodate my subscribers i want to make sure you have a space in which you can feel comfortable but nevertheless i'm going to make sure um i don't care which channel you go to everybody respects everybody and we get along even if we um don't agree and have different viewpoints but nevertheless just thought i would let y'all know that so let's get into it right so, you know, uh, uh, you know, the red pill was all over it. You know, anytime uh, a black woman, especially <laughs> um, one who is now receiving double ARP benefits, um, decides to nationally share on a TV show that she is in search of love in seeking a partner. And she is desiring a companion going on the age of 60. Okay, so you know, I mean, these dudes was just all over it. You know, Man of Spear, you know, Red Pill, everybody just, you know, <laughs> was all over it. Okay, you know, like ants on the ant farm, right? So, you know, um, even though you have a lot of guys who are sharing their perspective, and you know, most of the time when men go in, it's really to drag and belittle and bash. And even though I plan on doing a little bit of that, at the same time, there is some other significant points that a lot of these men are not going to address that I'm going to address because I want women that are uh, also eventually... Um, if God blesses you to see it, you know, uh, who are going to be encountering this age right now, they're young and they're not thinking about things like Vivica did not think or consider in her twenties and her thirties and her forties. So there's a lot of things Vivica Fox did that I believe has caused her to get to this point in life. Um, the choices she made. The type of men she chose has a lot to do with why all of a sudden now you wait till you almost 60 where, you know, it's, it's almost time for your grandkids to pick your nursing home out for you. Um, now you want companion. Now you want love. And I think a lot of men and women can actually learn from Vivica Fox. First is just dragging her through the mud, meaning learning what not to do. All right. So, the um, clip that has gone viral, and I'm going to get ready to play that. I'm just going to play the audio because I don't want no copyright beef or whatever. And I'm going to interject with fair use or whatever. Y'all know I have to do that to minimize the copyright because YouTube is very extra and picky when it comes to using other people's material, okay? So, this is the clip that has gone viral. And... I don't know what made her want to announce this, especially at this age of her life, that she's venturing out and seeking a partner. Uh, it, it, to me, it gave, you know, Vivica Fox has always been a very straightforward type of woman. She's always been one to say what she means and mean what she says. But in this instance, it really gave off desperation vibe. You know, I just don't think a woman should announce to the world, I'm looking for love. I don't care about a. I mean, I, I'm, I am mean, I don't care about race. I'm willing to try and experiment with anything now. I'm willing to expand my horizons. I, I just don't like that she did that. I, I think 
Vivica Fox has always put up this, this persona that I'm this strong, beautiful, educated black woman, successful black woman. I know what I want. I know how I want it. This is the reason why she does not have multiple baby daddies. This is the reason why she's not on husband number eight, number nine. So she, 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 she's always had her standards correct. But I also believe that her, she has a delusional concept of unrealistic expectations when it comes to men. And I think this is the problem with the black community when it comes to dating in general because y'all are listening to the red pill. Y'all are listening to the, to the divestors, um, the, the, the bitter sisterhood, um, you know, committee. It's, it's a lot of, you know, false narratives. Everybody's claiming to be dating coaches and they are, um, giving the wrong advice, giving the wrong knowledge. They're pushing narratives that are just not realistic. And this is the reason why a lot of a lot of black men and black women are, are having a hard time finding love, finding companion because y'all have been taught. Um y'all being YouTube taught. Y'all being red pill taught. Y'all being um divested taught that is you're supposed to deal with this type of black man and he has to make this amount of money. Are you supposed to deal with black women that are tens? You can't deal with black women who got a past or a reputation, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to pump the brakes on that. I'm going to go ahead and play the clip so we can reiterate because this is the whole reason of why I'm doing this recipe, this content today as to when she's washed up and now she chooses to level up. So let's play the clip and then we're going to reiterate on it as, you know, we go into it. Okay, so let's get it popping, y'all. One second. Yeah, I'm thinking I thought I had it ready. Wanting. Are you dating? Yeah. How's it going? I'm wanting to date. Yeah. I just, yeah. it's limited resources out there, right? <laughs> uh, yes. Because I'm not getting on an app. I just feel no, like. You're just not a good I'm old fashioned. I'm like, yeah. I need to meet you and sparks yeah. happen yeah. and stuff like that. Because I just believe people make up stories yeah. saying who and what yeah, they are. Yeah, exactly. And what are you so, looking for at this stage, this point? A partner. Yeah. And I'm, when I say a partner, I want someone that's going to be fun. Yeah. That's not intimidated by who and what I am. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that likes to travel. Yeah. Gonna let me go shopping. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now, I want to pop the brakes on that fair use, by the way. Um, I did get this video clip for those who are interested in watching her whole interview off of Today with, with Holder and... With, with Holder? I guess that's the name. Yeah. Today with Holder and Jenna. Um, that is the show in which I got this clip from, and it's also available on YouTube if you want to hear the whole interview in and out because she did i didn't realize she did so so much i didn't realize she did so many movies so many shows i mean she's a she's she's bad at, she's bad ace you know business wise boss woman wise you know um she would be an asset to a man as far as business minded but nevertheless you know um back to the point at hand she stated that she's looking for a partner now, I find it very funny that she did not say, I'm looking for a husband. She said a partner. And I believe the reason she said that was because even she realistically knows there's no way she's going to get a husband. The chances of getting a husband at the age of 60 is slim to none. I think she pretty much knows that, unfortunately, it is harder for women to be deemed as marriage material once they hit that age of 60 and up. And the reason for that is because, for one... <laughs> Let me just be honest. Oh my gosh. Physically, we just don't look the same at 60 compared to how we look at 20 and 30. Um, honestly, m most marriages, when, uh, when, when two individuals marry young, you are marrying that person at their physical state while everything is still tight and right. You know, uh, abs are cut, you know, uh, women we perky you know physically your physical attraction um is a big advantage for you during your youth because let's face it your mindset at that time is about looks <laughs> you don't care about character and personality till later let's just keep it a buck right but during your youth that is what makes you attracted to each other. And this is one of the reasons why, in a sense, 
if you choose to marry when you're younger, uh, the chances are a little higher because a lot of people at that in in that mind frame and that mindset during that age duration they're going for looks. Okay, and over time, after a relationship has been developed, then that's when you start to focus more on the character and the personality and all of everything else that comes along behind the scenes of how a person physically looks, okay? But uh, you tend to accept each other's flaws as y'all age together versus when a person has fully aged and is now looking for a companion to accept their weight gain, their hair loss, their health conditions. I mean, granted, listen, I was 21 when I married, okay? And my husband was 25, right? So, you know, physically, it was a lot of definitely physical attraction. You know what I mean? I think I weighed like a buck 10, you know? And my husband, you know, at the time, you know, uh, he was in his 20s, so he was lean, cut, you know, um, just back then, you know, we was just in much better shape. I mean, thank God we still look good now, but you know how that, that just how that goes. But over time in marriage, you know, things change. It does. Um, your body goes through changes. You gain weights. Um, you have medical issues that start going on. You lose your hair. You lose your teeth. Um, if none of these things ever happen to you, consider it a blessing. But things happen. But the thing about it is because there was already genuine love built off of that foundation. You are a little bit more receptive to it. That's why you might see some couples and you realize, why is his wife 100 and, uh, 320 and he's still married to her? You got to realize she wasn't 320 when they first got together. Okay, she was probably uh 120, you know, and you may see certain women were like, why is she with that guy? He's he is so he looks old enough to be her granddaddy. Well, who's to say when she first met him, he looked at that old. He just aged faster um than she did. Basically, when you marry young, you are willing to embrace each other's uh faults and flaws. However, when you start pushing them 50s and 60s and 70s nobody's the chances of people tolerating your weight gain tolerating your attitude tolerating your mindset is pretty much slim to none so for her to say that she's looking for a partner she knows without a shadow of a doubt a husband at this point in life is not going to happen so, it sounds like to me what's going on is that Vivica was one of those women, she was so into just doing her. And she was not only into doing her, I think she used her looks as leverage to pretty much get over. Uh, to get in, you know, uh, as far as business ventures, um, also, you know, uh, with men. I think she used her looks to her advantage a lot. Y'all got to realize, Vivica Fox been around, and I'm not saying that in a disrespectful manner. This woman been on Soul Train. She's been uh, on all type of music videos. I mean, she was, she's done a lot, you know, and... Sounds like to me she was one of those type of women that was so into pursuing her career and being bigger and larger than life that she did not make love a priority. Now, even though she did end up marrying, that marriage did, did not really go successfully. I think she was married to a football player named 6ix9ine, and I guess he fell off with his career, and at that time her career was rising, and she ended up being a breadwinner, and it took a toll on her, so... Um, nevertheless, that marriage did not work out because she got tired of compensating, which what any woman would. But um, I think this attitude of I'm looking for this top tier, top notch man um, that's going to roll out the red carpet, that's going to always see me as the prize, um, and I can I can walk all over him basically, you know, like a like a, 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 a welcome mat rug at a bus station. I think she's always been one of those women that thought very highly of herself. And I think that she expected all men 
to um bow down and praise her in a sense and i feel like once she saw that she couldn't get a man that would kind of bow down to her she just kept passing up um potential soulmates companions which probably if she would have just been consistent by now she's probably would have been in a better place whenever you first initially meet people it's going to be a lot of things that you're not going to like initially but once you formulate a relationship you have the advantage of making some of those changes, you know, um, if the person's willing to make those changes, not to the point where they got to change totally who they are, but at least be willing to make the changes in which y'all could possibly build to have something. But I'm going to continue to play the rest of the content. I feel like you just spoke it into existence. I hope so, girlfriend. I feel like you so just spoke it. And I'm taking applications. Oh, you so know, you got I, a friend. Okay. okay. I'm good. We'll keep, we'll be all, well, and I don't discriminate. Y'all, <laughs> I'm not against different nationalities. <laughs> you know that too. <laughs> <laughs> now what 60 year old goes on the show and, and and tells a host if you have a friend to me that that that's that's giving off high death desperation at its finest um no woman of vivica status even if she felt that way she should have not formed she should have not verbalized that on a national show Never let nobody think you're that hard up for a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we've seen Vivica fumble several relationships. She's been with 50 Cent. She was with a young rapper after that. You know, and even 50 Cent said she was really possessive. You know, she was a lot to deal with. And, and I think that's the problem with Vivica. I think Vivica is so set in her ways. I think she's always been one of those women that thought very highly of herself. And I really believe that she wanted men, uh, a man in, uh, in which she could basically run over him and call her shots. And ain't too many dudes going for that. I don't care if you're dealing with a, a, a multi-billionaire rapper like 50 Cent or, you know, an average dude selling mixtapes, you know, uh, from out his trunk of his car. Ain't too many dudes are going to sit there and let you think because you're Vivica Fox that you can handle them all kind of way. I really think Vivica Fox uh, went for years seeking men in whom she could mold and control and make them who she wanted them to be for her. And not only that, I think she passed up a lot of good potentials. Um, you have some women that are, it's okay to have standards, but realistically, some women are way too damn picky. They are extremely picky. You have to realize there's no perfect package. You can write down a list of 20 things you want out of one man, and I guarantee you'll be lucky if you get three of those things out of 20 men. No different than a man. If you wrote down a list of 20 things you want out of a woman, you're not going to find all those 20 things out of one woman. You may find three of them, three, three out of 20 out of this woman. You might five out of 20 of this woman, or you may not get any out of the other woman. There's just no way. There, there's just no, no realistic way of getting the perfect man or the perfect woman. I, I think uh, Vivica was very unrealistically seeking a man that was no way going to be able to live up to her unrealistic standards. Um, I believe not only that, I believe with her success, she was worried about um, men taking advantage and capitalizing off of her, and I get that as well. But um, at the same time, you know, even being a woman that has success, there's a way you could have dated or had a companion and still been able to protect your assets, protect your wealth, if that was a concern for you. Um, not only that, not every man is out for your money. You know, you have a lot of women who think because they make a lot of money that automatically a man wants them for their money. That's not always the case. You got men out here who grind, who hustle, who don't mind working, who don't mind um, doing what they got to do to provide as a man and not live off of you as a, as a because you're a female with a lot of money. Because truth is, a real man does not want a woman with money thinking she has leverage over him. I don't care if he got to work at Popeye's and she owns her own doggone um, um, a, uh, 
administrative um cleaning you know her own cleaning business or something like that he's not going to put himself in a position to where he has to mooch off of her so she could treat him less than a man uh i just think vivica was one of those women that was really really difficult to please difficult to please um expected way too much not understanding that shit you got your own flaws too you a lot to deal with yeah, true indeed. Uh, and a lot of independent black women, this is where we get a, a, a lot of, this is where we get it twisted. We figure because of what we got and because of who we are that we don't have to change certain things to appease to the type of men we want. It's this attitude of I'm independent, I'm successful, I'm attractive, um, I got a lot going for myself. So, either you take me as I am or you leave it. I really believe that was the mindset Vivica had during her 20s. Because she had the looks. She had the body. She had body yaddy yaddy. She had um, the charisma. She had all of that. But, the problem was, she did not use it wisely. She used it to be complicated, difficult, and thinking she was going sooner than later conquer a man that was going to accept who she was 100% without her having to change some of who she is to appease to him. I really think that's what happened. So now what's going on is, like a lot of older women, Vivica, Vivica, Vivica Fox's age, now you're looking back and you're reflecting. You're looking back and you're reflecting because you're at an age where you have all of this money, you have uh, all the success you have accomplished over the years. You've done all of these movies. You've done all of these shows. And now you see you just a, a, a woman with a big home, a beautiful car, and three cats. Now I have to realize Vivica Fox has no other life now. Outside of her movies, TV shows, her success, she doesn't have children. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I don't think a woman has to feel like she's a woman only if she has children. But what I'm saying is, there's no second life. She has no children. She's not married. And she doesn't have, most importantly, a companion. You have to have another life outside of success. You do. Um, that's why it's imperative that even if you're a man that's making millions... It's going to come a point when you're going to want something more fulfilling. You know, you have to realize you're getting older. Things are going to start going on with your body. Your body going to ache. It's going to hurt. You're going to have back pains. Your knees going to give out. All of this is a part of life. It's a part of nature. And the things we take for granted, um, like having a partner just to be there during the hard times and the bad times. It's not always about money. It's about somebody who really cares and have your best interests. You just want to have somebody to call, man, could you, man, my knees is killing me. Can you rub some alcohol on my knees for me? I mean, you need that nurturing. It's, it's, it's by, that, that is the reason why a lot of people, um, they, they, some people pass away quicker alone than they do with a companion because it takes somebody who's caring and loving who nurtures you to keep you stimulated to keep your mental uh psyche going you know when you don't have someone there that's uh contributing that love that positive energy i mean how how, how much is your how many times is the money in your account gonna comfort you how many times is the money in your account gonna encourage you or bring you real fulfillment. You need a companion. You know, and this is something that I know a lot of us are being taught to go against. You don't need no man. You don't need no woman. All men ain't no good. All women ain't no good. No, it's just that you have to be wise with your choices. You have to be wise and understand what to look out for. Not be manipulated because a person looks good or because a man has a lot of money. You have to find out that person's character. It doesn't matter how good they look on the outside. You have to find out their character, find out their spirituality, and most importantly, you need to um, definitely um, get into a place in which you can discover um, all of their mental issues. You basically it boils down to you picking the poison. Everybody got some type of poison, but pick your poison wisely. 
okay? Vivica Fox passed up on a lot of opportunities when she was young. And you got a lot of young women doing that now. They find them faults in everything. Oh, he, he don't make enough money. Oh, well, you know. Um, you know, he he's in a struggle right now. You know, uh, he done lost his job or, you know, he... Um, he just came out of a divorce or he's not that attractive or he drives the, a, a school bus for a living. I mean, I can't have no fulfilling life with a man who drives a school bus or he collects trash not realizing it's, it's not how the money makes the man. It's how the man makes the money. If he's wise and financially stable and um, he knows how to invest and save up his money. He can move mountains. You got some men out here who were millionaires and now they sleeping on scared roll because all of those millions they had, they did not invest in it. They did not make good choices with the money. So it's not about the, the, the man making the money. Can the money make the man? Can it make him a better man? Can it make him a business investor, a smarter business investor? You know what I mean? So I think that's what happened with Vivica. Vivica kept passing up on a lot of men because she felt like she was going to be fine forever. I think anytime she saw one or two little things wrong, she wrote them off. I don't think she really tried to really work with a person, try to embrace and accept some of his faults and flaws and work on those faults and flaws because the truth of the matter is any relationship you get in, you're going to have to work with that person. On their faults and their flaws, they're not going to come to you 100% established, but we'll continue. So, uh, basically, that sounds like it was the end of the clip there, and I will leave the link to the bottom. And um, that way, y'all can check it out doing y'all own free will. Yep, you have some women who do this. They get so into their career, so into their success, so into uh, themselves now that they're older. They want all the things they should have had that same desire for um, during their 30s, during their 40s. Now they realize, okay, yeah, I got all this money in the bank, but I don't have a man, male companion. I don't have somebody who I can care for, who can care for me. I don't have somebody who I can call on when I'm down or or going through it. You know what I mean? Um, so many people shun marriage, but at the same time, it's a lot of blessings that come in it, come come in with it. It depends on um, what you do with it and how you go about it. You know what I'm saying? Our marriages ain't bad. Um, you just have some people that's not wife material. And you have some men that are not husband material. And that's where you have to use your spiritual discernment. Yeah, Vivica Fox wants to level up now because she realizes she does not have anyone to care for. You got all this money in the bank. You got all these, you know, accoloids, all of these, all the success. You have um, basically accomplished a lot. She even did a hairline. I think she had her own wigs and uh, you know, hair pieces. So she's done a lot. But the one thing she has not accomplished is um, being successful in relationships. Yeah, you got all these successful businesses and successful, you know, um, accomplishments. But when it comes to relationships, that's where you have your biggest failures. And I think that's what's pretty much going on with Vivica. She wants somebody now. Now that the success done ran out <laughs> um now that the admiration for men drooling all over you and all of that that done ran out um she's older now and see a lot of us need to take heed to that just cause you're in your 20s and 30s and you got all these women who you can use and run through you got all these men you know you taking advantage of you have a multiple children by multiple men to collect child support it's going to catch up with you you get in your fourth 50s and well it's actually catching up sooner now things things used to catch up with you it took years but now it's not even taken till you get in your 50s and 60s stuff catching up with you in your 40s so you have to be mindful you know in this life thinking that where you are 
And everything that's going great for you is going to always be that way. Things do change up. You know, Vivica ain't as hot as she used to be. No disrespect. Now, does she look great? Yes, she does. For 60. She does. She looks great. But what man is going to embrace her age? Her weight gain? She should have picked up a partner... When she was in her, at least her 30s on 40s by now, it would have been in 20, 30 years, hopefully. I just think Vivica is a piece of work. I think she has an attitude. I think she could be very demanding. Um, I, I get bossy bitch vibes from Vivica. And I think that's the reason why so many men have ran away from her. Or stopped dealing with her. Because she gives, uh, you know, um... You're going to do what I say vibes. You know, and I think that's what happens, y'all. Um, excuse excuse that. Uh, somebody called, tried, tried to call me, whatever. But um, I think that's what happened. She, uh, she felt like she was going to always be this top tier, phenomenal, celebrity, A status, um, female actress. And before she noted, it, she looked up. And saw, I'm not that A plus no more. I'm not that 20, 30 year old actress who had all the men checking for her. I'm in my 60s now. I, I put on weight. I'm no longer that sex symbol that all men used to flock and fall for. She looked up and now she sees it's over. And this is why women in their 20s and 30s. Don't need to be walking around here smelling themselves like Saweetie and, and Ari and Sexy Red and all these young women right now, you know, who know, you know what I mean? They're not thinking right now because they still got the body, they got the fame, they got, you know, dudes drooling over them. They're not looking at, I could, this could very well be me. 20, 30 years from now. You take your youth, and a lot of black women tend to do this. We abuse our youth. We use it to trick off other men. Simps. <laughs> you know, we use it to breed a lot of babies so we could continue to uh, benefit from child support, benefit from the system. And we never think 40, 50 you're not going to look the way you look now. I mean, yes, you can get all the plastic surgery, but nature is going to take its course. You're still going to get wrinkles. You know, you're still going to have cellulite. Surgery can't fix everything, but the main thing is your mindset. Surgery can't fix your mindset. The problem is the way a lot of these females thinking at 20, they're going to think the same way when they're 40 and 50. Some of these women, not they're, they're never going to mentally grow to the next level. And they wonder why when they look up, they go from 20 and one day you find yourself 50. You, you're, not, you're not able to comprehend why you're still having the same problems with men in your 60s that you had in 20s and 30s. Why do men keep leaving you? Why do men keep using you? Why do men keep taking advantage of you? It's something in your spirit. Or either you, you it's, it's your poor choices, your mindset has not changed. You still keep picking up the same type of dudes. Because you don't think nothing is wrong with you. First of all, in order for you to change how things, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, change in your, in order for you to change things in your life, for things to get better for you, you first have to admit there's something is wrong. You cannot change your situation until you change your mindset. Is basically what I'm saying. A lot of these females, a lot of these young black women I see today, a lot of these black young black women, you can't tell them nothing. You can't tell them it ain't cool for all these ninjas out here to see your 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 your, your assets. You know, these black women, these young black women, they they'll get offended. They'll cuss you out. They'll call you a hater. You cannot reach the mindset of these black, these young modern black women. These modern black women today, I'm talking about the ones that's under 30, between the age of 18, we'll say from 18 to 30. 
18 to 35. You cannot tell them nothing. They see absolutely nothing wrong with having multiple children for multiple men. They see absolutely nothing wrong with uh, going in the grocery store with bonnets on and flip-flops. They see absolutely nothing wrong with twerking in front of their kids. They see absolutely nothing wrong with leaving their kids off on their parents, not raising them. They see nothing wrong with it. This is the uh, offense culture. They will get offended when you tell them the truth, even if it's to better themselves. These are the type of, of generational, uh, new breed, botched, mindset thinking group of women that we are dealing with today. You cannot mother these young women today. You cannot mother them. You cannot be a big sister to them. Um, they will not respect your knowledge. They will not respect your wisdom. It, it, it amazes me to this day. My daughter is 23. And this girl still calls me for advice. And she calls her grandmother for advice. Because she trusts our, uh, our knowledge. She trusts our wisdom. And she see that it's working for her. But I'm seeing these other young black women. Who have mothers who can't tell them nothing. Who have aunties that, that can't tell them anything. And it's just very saddening that. The mindset of a lot of these young black women today is just so poisoned with garbage that you re you just cannot reach them. They're so oblivious and they're so full of delusions that it's hard to try to, um, you know, reach them mentally and spiritually. The young black women today, they are, they are polluted with so much toxicity um, you cannot reach these black women today. You just, you just cannot. And I, I mean, you got. I, I ride for my sisters. I do. I have love for the ones who I know want to better themselves. Who I know don't fit the typical um, angry, uh, angry black woman uh, who blames society for all her failures. You have some women out here who understand assignment know where they went wrong, and they're doing all the necessary steps it takes to change that. But for those who don't, this is what happens. You find yourself 50, 60, now you want love. Now you want somebody to care for you. She was probably one of those women back then, couldn't tell her nothing. Oh, no, honey, I'm making my money. I, I'm a successful, independent black woman. I'm going to stand on what I stand on. You going to take it or leave it? This is who I am. This is what I am. Take me as I am. Because I don't give a damn or you can scram. That's what Vivica, Vivica Fox was. I guarantee you. You going to take me for who I am. Or you not getting nothing at all. Now that you're 60. You're willing to humble yourself. You even willing to date outside your race. You've never dated outside your race. We've never. Based off of your dating history. We've never seen Vivica date outside her race. But what has happened Dexpiration. I didn't say desperation. Dexpiration done set in. Listen, you get 60s, them hormones start raging. Women, is over, listen, women over 60, they get hornier than women under 20. Make no mistake about it. They still get horny. They still need those, 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 uh, those, those, those cheeks clapped. Let's just keep it 100. But how many men, especially men now with this red pill culture mindset, what man is going to be interested in taking you to bed or even being attracted to you at this age, at this stage in your life? Only thing she can probably do is get a boy toy. <laughs> Somebody, you know, who she could, uh, who would be willing you know what I mean? To, 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 to help hold her leg up. <laughs> you have to be a strong young man who can hold her leg up for her because she's not going to be able to hold it up long by herself. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Unless you got some Ben Gay or Icy Hot on that nightstand. Listen, she need a, she need a, a strong boy toy that's going to be able to, to, to keep that leg up while he hitting that. And he can't get tired. She gonna need a man with a lot of stamina. Cause she said in the interview, she said, I didn't play that part, but she said she noticed she having knee problems. Her knees ain't the same. <laughs> that knee light. 
that need light be checking, uh, that need um check on light, you know, be coming on, you know, that need check light be coming on, it be flashing. <laughs> she just might as well get a boy toy or get an older man who probably can't get it up as much, but don't mind just being her company, you know, don't mind coming over for a cup of coffee, hanging out with her, sitting on the porch with her. She, 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 she got to have one or the other. At this point, marriage is not an option. Uh, you know, building a life with someone is not an option. And she knows that. Um, that's why she said partner. She didn't say husband. Um, what type of partner? Like I said, the mindset of how a lot of these dudes think now, thanks to Kevin Samuels and all, listen, it ain't going to be too many options. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, leave your opinion below. Let me know what y'all think about this content. What do you think has contributed to Vivica Fox now seeking love? Listen, it gets serious. A lot of times you we be so quick to scream, I'm independent. I don't want nobody. I don't need nobody. But baby, when you get up out of that bed and that knee check light, come on. Or uh, uh, your, your back aching and hurting. You need somebody there to remind you to take your medicine. You need somebody there to make sure you're going to your doctor's appointments. You need somebody there to rub that icy hot on your knees for you. A lot of things you can't do for yourself when you're single. So, honey, only time will tell. But I really wish she did not go live and said that because now everybody's going to make a mockery out of her. And now she's her, her making that comment has pushed the narrative that the red pill... Um, Brotherhood has been pushing all along, you know, uh, women wait till they washed up, you know, and now they want a man, now they want somebody, now they wait till their eggs done dried up and out of order. Um, this pushes the narrative, so a lot of the red pill guys are, are, are having a, a field day off of Vivica Fox, man, you should have not said that. Now you got all these women out here in their 60s looking, you know, thirsty, you feel me? But anyway, leave y'all comment below, hit that like button. If you don't mind, just hit it for me. I would appreciate it. And y'all know I'm going to be coming strong with some more content. I got some more uploads that I owe y'all. It's been a while, but you know, I'm, go I'm going to be on it. I'm going to get back into being more consistent with my content over here. So anyway, y'all, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. Take care.